Hey guys, welcome back. And I did finish my little 65 Mustang by AMT in 132nd scale. And I think it turned out so cool, so proud of it. Um, started off as like a, oh shoot, that won't take but a day or two. I'll finish that. And in theory, you could build this kit in, in a day or so. No joke. Because it has like 11 parts or something. I mean, such a low parts count. And I got to thinking, well, I could do some wheels. Then I started thinking about the chrome and, and just, you know, one thing led to another. And it has turned out to be just the coolest little Mustang. I'm, in my opinion, AMT got this thing spot on as far as the body dimensions. And I think I've heard in the past, and I've mentioned this in the past, that I think AMT had some ability to go into the factory and do some actual measurements because there's a monogram kit this 132nd scale and it just the body is totally off as far as i'm concerned and i've seen 65 mustangs in person and man this thing here is just spot on it comes from an old uh, set of molds um i'm assuming from around 1965 probably when they came out with this so, um, but when I say that, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it because really there's not. This thing was super clean. I had the body cleaned up in no time, but I wanted to put some different wheels on it. And I went with Kragers, something that I've never been a Krager guy, but looking at them on this thing, I'm like, man, they really work with this era car or, you know, seventies or whatever. I just never have been a Krager guy. So I did that. I printed the, I down. I scaled down a set of the Z Force Model Works uh, Kragers with the BF Goodrich uh, tires that I carry. I scaled them down to 132nd, or as close to what I thought was 132nd. I'm calling them 15 inch wheels instead of 14s. I think that's pretty close to what the look is. Uh, this car would have had 14 inch wheels and tires on it, um, but these are a little sportier, so I, I went with a 15 inch, you know. A, air quotes 15 inch i guess i never measured anything i just kind of took a 132nd scale tire and kind of measured it and then went down to it but these are 15 inch wheels on uh when you when you're getting them in 125th scale but anyway back to the car painted it with some leftover mcw i think dark red is what the color was um and then i cleared it and after that i went to and if you've seen the video other you know the leading up to this one I went to bare metal foil the windows and my foil was just just garbage uh have a hard time with bare metal foil sticking and i just decided to molotov um chrome it with toothpicks and paint brushes and i taped off uh like the window trim and all so it would not bleed through onto the paint but if it did i was easily able to clean it up with a uh, tooth i mean a, a q-tip and some alcohol because I had the 2k clear on it it's totally sealed and it just wiped right off no problem at all and the 2k clear is very tough uh, I didn't have to clear it um, but I just wanted to so you know that's how we do things right didn't have to but we wanted to but it turned out so cool I did a little interior detailing uh, just a little chrome and all that stuff around some chrome um, around the bezels and the steering wheels got a little chrome and around the consoles a little chrome there's no engine or anything like that but it just turned out good i did end up chroming the front and rear bumper because they had you know on those on some of your older kits i'll get this wire tie right here for a pointer on the edges of your bumpers you'll have a big old parting line and you know it was chrome the chrome was okay but it had this huge parting line on both sides and i just couldn't live with that so i sanded the bumpers and then chromed them and uh thought it turned it out real good uh it was the green stuff world is the chrome that i used for the wheels and bumpers and uh, maltol was for the uh was for the window trim and all that stuff but yeah man can't be more happy with it i was able to paint the ford emblems on the hood just hand painted them with the paintbrush i think they turned out pretty darn sharp and i 
as I was building this, just thought just going to be a cool little shelf model. But I think I'm going to take this to a show. Um, just because just I'm that proud of it. I think my stance... Okay, so, a little disclaimer. The the I don't know if you've dealt with 3D wheels and tires, but I can't show you on those because they're not off the things. But you don't... They don't match up with what you're working on, right? you got to do some improvising as far as how to mount the wheels. And when I was doing that, I tried to place them where the stock location was and it just had the stance way off the stance was not like i thought it should look um, i like the two plus twos they they look pretty good with the rear wheels kind of under the fender wells like that to me my personal opinion um, so i stanced it a little bit lower in the back than the front i thought it just had the look man i just i cannot be happier with it but the wheels turned out perfect I didn't wipe letter the tires. I don't think that would have been fitting for this build. And I'm not a white letter kind of guy anyway. My dad wasn't either. And for some reason it rubbed off on me. I prefer a black wall. Uh, they do have the raised letters, but I don't, I didn't want to, uh, to, to paint the letters white. I didn't want to do it anyway. Cause you know what I mean? That'd have been a booger, but everything about this little car is too cool. And it would be more cool if the darn camera would stay focused. But yeah, um, hope you guys like it. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the build on it. The last video was like long. It was like 45 minutes or something. But I wanted to go ahead and, and get everything wrapped up. And I did the I did all the putting together uh, after uh, off camera. But I just didn't find the need to uh, have to do all that on camera. So I, and you should have saw me fighting with the tires and wheels trying to get them mounted because see. They're not mounted to any location points, right? So I had to take a piece of round styrene and glue to the in inner part of the wheel and then glue it to where I had cut off the mounting locations. So it was a bear to get the uh, the wheels and tires to, to stay where I want them to stay. If I had a third hand, that would be awesome because that way I could have got the accelerator under there while I was trying to hold the wheel... Uh, entire on and let the super glue set but without that third hand it's a heck of a time so uh anyway thought it turned out cool so maybe i'll take this one to simpsonville coming up on the 18th by the way simpsonville south carolina um my video are showing the camaro and the firebird i said i think it was the 14th or 15th that's not true don't don't show up at simpsonville on the 14th or 15th they're not going to have the show on that day it's the 18th of may so go do that and uh, we'll be vending. I'll have all my 3D printed stuff and also have some Protec stuff there. So I'd love to see you there. You can uh, meet Heather if you hadn't met her. I think the girls might be going too. So Ruthie and Ellie may be there. So um, Ellie, <laughs> it's funny. Ellie said, Daddy, I want to make some money. So she said, um, you know, I think they're going to go. But anyway, we'll see. They may find that they have something they want to go do instead, but if not, they'll be there. And if not, they're not there. Me and Heather will definitely be there if nothing drastic happens. But thanks, guys, for all you do. I do appreciate you, all your support. Don't forget, uh, as the, I don't know if you saw the little short video that I did on the giveaway, I'm going to do a, a kind of a pro promotion thing on mcvproducts.net. For every $10 of merchandise you purchase, uh, you'll get your name in uh, for a drawing of a hundred and fifty dollar gift card and the 68 uh, Chevelle Ravel Chevelle kit. I'm going to give that away. That'll be at the end of May So starting May 1 through the end of May for every ten dollars that you spend on mcvproducts.net Your name will be entered automatically into a drawing um, so if you spend ten dollars you get one if you spend 20 you get two you know it's it's that's pretty easy math it, at least for me um and uh your name will be in the hat however many ten dollars you spend so i appreciate everybody supporting that website i'm trying to really get it off the ground and and get it going um all over the place and and it's it's only because of the help of you guys i do appreciate you you're you're a wonderful wonderful community and a super supportive community um, as well, re regardless if it's just me building or if it's me having a website selling 3D printed parts and things like that. You guys are just, just the most supportive 
uh, unbelievable, I guess is all I could say. It's just unbelievable. But with all that said, hey, don't forget the paint, the kit came from hobbynutmodels.com. So I want you to go over to hobbynutmodels.com and spread the love over there with Mark. Grab yourself a model kit or some great MCW paint. I love this stuff. It has just been an absolute game changer for me uh, building models. And uh, there's tons of other paints out there, but I've just, I've stuck with it. Uh, Mark's helped me get started with MCW and it's just, I've learned how to use it and it's just a great product. I use the enamel, I don't use the lacquer. Uh, I do have a few bottles that I got from MCW uh, finishes, but I, I, I have the, uh, the enamels is what I always use. And many times I will clear coat them because I just like, uh, afterwards, uh, the 2K clear gives it such a durable shell. Uh, and if I put bare metal foil down, I like to clear over my foil because the foil ain't going nowhere then. It's locked into place, so I will um, 2K clear also. But anyway, get yourself some chrome paint, get yourself some glue, MCW paint, and a model kit, and go to town. Have fun, but that's over in, uh, my, the, that's over at hobbynutmodels.com. My website's mcvproducts.net, and I want to thank my Patreon members. You guys are great. Thank you for your support and the the fun that we have on our live streams and uh thanks to you guys most especially you because um yeah you're why i keep doing this you guys that watch these videos comment thank you so much for so many comments so encouraging um from you guys and i can't wait to see the comments on this little mustang i got pictures already taken i took them before in case i dropped it or something while doing this um so i've already got the pictures taken so you hang around just a second and you can see those and guys, we'll see you later. I appreciate you. You take care. Bye.